What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl V. Welcome back to Evolving Vibes. It feels good to be back on here. I know I haven't made a video in the past few days, giving you all an update on my detox journey, and um, that's what I'm here to do. So, day three, four, five, and now today's day six. Day three was really good. I didn't have any issues. I drank my detox tea, drank my gallon water, went to work as normal. The day was just a regular detox day. Nothing crazy happened. I didn't have too many hunger pains or anything like that. Um, day four kind of got complicated. It started off really good. I, was, I drank my gallon water. I was drinking my detox tea. But a recent toxic ex of mine popped up. And it really um, stirred a lot of negative emotions, repressed emotions and feelings that I am in therapy currently working on. And I wasn't ready for all of that. Not in the beginning of my detox journey. And I should have known better. I shouldn't have responded. I shouldn't have replied. But we had a little back and forth, a little, you know, how exes and all that go. And it kind of took me to a, a darker place, a place that I've been trying to dig myself out of. And when I am in a dark place or happy for that matter or sad or anything, I'm an emotional eater. So in order to succumb those emotions, I eat. And I was feeling so bad and I was starting to feel so hungry. And I was like, you know what? F it. F it. I'm about to eat. Because I need to eat these feelings away. I need to eat these thoughts away. That's what I did. I did. And I had drank my detox tea earlier that day, like I said. And I drank my water. And I was feeling good. But when I got off work, I was like, man, I feel like crap. You know? So food is my coping mechanism, which I am trying to break away from that bad habit. Um, so I feel I ate some pizza. And I didn't eat just one. Because with me being an emotional eater, I don't stop eating until I don't feel those feelings or have those thoughts anymore, until they're gone. And I overindulged. I did. And I certainly paid the consequences for it on Friday. Um, I couldn't even go to work. My stomach was really messed up. It hurt so bad. And I was in the bed to the toilet, in the bed to the toilet. It was terrible, you know. And um, I learned my lesson. I'm just not going to do that again. Um, I know I said I was going to stick to healthy foods like choline, low, low choline and alkaline foods if I ever did get hungry or needed to eat. But the problem was I wasn't that hungry. I was just in a mental place to where I felt like I needed food to cope with it. And that's what I did. I'm not proud of it. Um <laughs> I am holding myself accountable for it, but I'm not going to let it hold me back. I'm not going to stop my journey on trying to overcome TMAU. I'm, I'm just not. It's a mistake. It's, I'm human. I made an error. So, I'm, But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to start my week two. I'm going to finish out week one. I'm going to keep doing all that I can. You know, I'm not going to be sad or depressed about it because I've been sad and depressed about this disorder for far too long. I've been dealing with this damn near my whole life. So, you know, that's whatever. I'm not going to give up. It's hard. And the other TMA you sufferers, we know. I know you know. It's hard. It's not easy. And, um, you know, I haven't been out in the public yet because of the, uh, the snowstorm that most of the country is going through. So I've been in my house for almost two weeks, going on two weeks now. I ain't been to the bank, ain't been to the store, anything like that. So I don't know if I'm having any reactions. I do know before I started my detox, I was already having um, some odor that I could smell. And usually that's not the case. Like usually I can't smell myself. Like I can go in a room, leave, come back, and then I can smell it. But me just sitting in the room... I usually don't smell what everybody else smells, but it could be perhaps I've been in the house for almost two weeks that I'm, I can really smell it like it's getting stronger and stronger. And so like I've been bathing like crazy. I've been showering like crazy. I mean, I scrubbed my body so hard, y'all. Like I have bruises and scratches and red marks all over me because I'm like, I got to get this scent off. But 
as you all know, TMAU disorder, the odor, you can't wash it off, right? If we could, like, it'd be so much better. But I'm not going to give up, y'all. I'm not going to give up. I hope you don't give up. There is a light at the end, end of the tunnel. There are many other TMAU sufferers and body odor sufferers who have overcome their symptoms. And we can too. I'm going to keep trying everything that I can. Um, like if you ever watch The Gut War here on YouTube um, with Josh, amazing guy, amazing guy. He's overcome TMAU and he did that through fermented foods, kefir, kabucha, sauerkraut, low choline food. I tried to kefir. I tried drinking the kombucha drinks. It's it's not for me. I, I can't stick with that. It's like, I did it for like maybe two days. And I was like, I don't like drinking milk anyway because I'm lactose intolerant. And mm, that's not for me. So I'm going to keep trying different methods. I'm going to stick to my detox teeth. Um, if I do start eating again, of course, I'm going to stick to low choline and alkaline foods. But I'm thinking about maybe doing smoothies instead because your body can digest liquids a lot easier than they can digest. <laughs> a lot easier than it can digest um, solids, right? So anyway, you know, I just want to jump on here real quick, give you all an update and let you know I did not abandon my mission. I did not abandon anyone who's watching or looking for inspiration and hoping that I do overcome it so they can overcome it. Um, I'm sorry if I let you down, but I am human. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to make errors and mess up and I'm not perfect. So I do apologize for that. And I just ask that while I'm keeping myself accountable, I want you all to keep me accountable too. So in the comments, leave how you feel, um, any feedback, any suggestions, like, comment, subscribe, share, do the thing, you know. Um, remember, we're all in this together. We all are suffering with the same ailment, the same curse. So let's all work together to overcome this, you know. We are a community, even though a lot of people in the world, they don't know about us. And a lot of people don't care to know or care to understand. We know and we understand each other. And at this point in time, we are all we got. Okay. So that is pretty much my whole purpose of doing this vlogging or YouTubing of my detoxing journey and trying to overcome TMAU. Because I know one day when I do overcome it, my story is going to help somebody else suffering with it. And that is the goal to help everybody, to help anybody who is in the same place and same situation that I am dealing with this body odor that we can't get rid of. So y'all just wish me luck. I wish everybody else the best. Keep being you. Keep being great. Okay. I love you all.